Here we're taking a look at Tim Hassler's 1948 Studebaker. Uh, he's really got this thing decked out. Tim's pretty proud of this car. He spends a lot of, well, we don't know how much money he spends on this show, on this particular car. And even if there was a number, we probably wouldn't want to publicize it too much. You can see he's got a raised, raised hydraulic uh, box on the back. Got it lifted. I think he also has this thing trail ready, taking a few trail rides. If we want, Keith, maybe we can move in and take a look around at the box and stuff on this particular unit. Now we're going to just move around to the back of Tim's truck, taking a look at uh, some of the uh, features of it. You can see he's got it looking pretty good for today's show. Hey, those look like uh, beer kegs on the side of that thing. You don't suppose? Nah, couldn't be. There must be fuel in there. Next toy we're looking at is Mike Gramsci's 1929 Fargo. Uh, we do know that he just this the restoration on this truck was just completed this past summer, and some of you may have seen it in the Heritage Days Parade. Uh, MRG had it sponsored in the Heritage Days Parade. You can see this thing's quite quite nicely detailed with the uh, wood spoked uh, uh, wheels and uh, the finished finished um, box or deck on the back of it. This is really a nice looking truck. We're taking a look at the interior on the this Fargo truck. You can see it's really clean all the way through. Even even if notice, I don't know if you get a good shot of it, Keith. The roof, the roof in the um, truck, in the cab is even made out of wood. It's got the finished wood. See the back, the back of the truck has got a nice hardwood deck, all completely refinished.